You've probably heard news stories in the past touting the cicadas are on their way and they only come out of the ground every 17 years. Well, sometimes that's true. However, due to irresponsible reporting by reporters, people are often left confused. Wait a minute, you might think. If they only come out every 17 years, then why do I hear them make so much noise what seems like every summer? At least I think I do. And if you think you hear cicadas making a racket every single summer, you're probably correct, depending on where you live, of course. Concerning cicadidae, the true cicadas, and one of two families of cicadas, there are well over 3,000 species worldwide. And there are about 170 species and 20 subspecies, give or take, of cicadas found in continental North America, north of Mexico. Of those 170 or so species, the vast majority are annual cicadas, which means they come out every year. Now, the ones that the news agencies love to sing about, the ones that only come out every million years or so, are called periodical cicadas. Of them in North America, there are seven species with 12 17-year broods and three 13-year broods. Here is a map of when these periodical cicadas emerge. Note that only one brood will emerge this year. Known as brood 14, the largest of all broods, will emerge in this area. Right here around Tennessee, Kentucky, southern Ohio, and even this little area up here in Pennsylvania. If your area is on this map, with your county and color, just find the color in the legend and add the appropriate number of years to figure out when the next emergence will be. Say, if you lived here in the Mississippi River Valley, then brood 23, a 13-year cicada, will next emerge in 2028, not too far away. Also, just to get it out of the way, cicadas are not locusts. I repeat, cicadas are not locusts. Locusts are various species of shorthorn grasshoppers. Again, cicadas are not locusts. And while I understand that some people may find the near constant calling of cicadas in late summer annoying, I find it enduring. Not only does it remind me of the great summers of my youth, but also of the summer fun I had with my own kids. And how many times as kids did we find these little cicada shells, usually clinging to tree bark? Ah, the memories. And when I say emerge, cicadas live the vast majority of their lives underground, only to surface when it's time to mate. Eggs are laid above ground, but once they hatch, the nymphs get low. These nymphs, which are quite small at first, have strong front legs for digging and excavating chambers close to roots, where they feed on xylem sap. If you didn't know, xylem sap is the fluid that carries soil nutrients and water from the roots to the leaves of a plant, just FYI. Many annual cicada species live underground for about two to five years. However, populations emerge every year, or annually. While underground, they molt several times. When the time is right, they emerge to molt for a final time then mate and then die. Upon emerging from the ground, usually at night, a cicada nymph will find a good place to cling to. As part of the molting process, once an adult cicada emerges from its shell, it needs time to remain still for several hours, which includes allowing the wings to dry. During that time, they are weak and more susceptible to predation. It is advantageous for a cicada to complete this molting process prior to sunrise when the majority of their predators are active. It will cling to a variety of surfaces, from plants to posts to car tires even. The vast majority will molt on a tree trunk or branch. Once they lock on to a surface, the adult will begin to loosen itself from the old exoskeleton, then push its way out the back of what is now a shell of its former self. Once it pushes back as far as it can, the adults will then use its front legs to cling to the shell and allow its wings to dry.
cicada species come in a wide range of sizes from tiny like this one here a little mesquite cicada that's entire length barely spans the width of my pinky finger to this big bush cicada that is pretty much the same size as a grown man's thumb each species of cicada has its own pattern and coloring however most are green or brown with black and sometimes white mixed in these colors in the cicadas patterning makes for a pretty good camouflage even though males probably give themselves away with all the noise they make and speaking of that noise cicadas have a large nose-like structure which protrudes from the face that looks like a vintage microphone i'll have a blue christmas thank you thank you very much well that thing is called a post clypeus and it has nothing to do with the sound that they make you would think that is where the sound comes from but no i mean look at it it looks like sound would come from there but cicadas actually have a pair of timbals one on each side which are ridged membranes found on their first abdominal segment when these timbals vibrate they generate the distinctive cicada song cicada songs can reach 90 decibels which is about as loud as a lawnmower the songs which we hear nearly all summer and into the fall are only performed by the males and it's their way of trying to lure in the ladies now although most annual cicadas are usually greenish or brownish periodical cicadas have black bodies with red eyes many creatures eat cicadas from mammals to birds, such as the Mississippi kite, of which the cicada is a favorite food. But while there are many predators of these insects, perhaps the most wicked is a giant wasp. The cicada killer is a menacing looking beast which grows to about three times as large as the largest paper wasp. But cicada killers don't eat cicadas. They feed on flower nectar. However, their offspring does feed on cicadas. Once a female creates her nesting burrow, she will then search for cicadas perching in trees during the day. After a victim is located, the wasp will sting and paralyze the cicada, then drag it back to the burrow. She may provide up to three cicadas per larva. The larvae hatch a few days later and begin slowly digesting the cicadas. Now, the wicked part is that the cicadas aren't dead. They're paralyzed and they live until the very end of being eaten alive. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you. Oh, hello. I'm Randy from Randy's Natural World. I hope you enjoyed the video on... Cicadas. Yes. Yes, that's it. Today I'm pretending to be a scientist. Maybe I'm doing research on a 5 o'clock shadow. I'm not sure. But that's neither here nor there. I'm hoping to speak to those of you who haven't subscribed yet. Here's a list of reasons why you should. It's free. You can't beat that price. Number two, quality content. Always quality content. Number three, YouTube allows unlimited subscriptions, so there's no reason not to. Anyway, number four, are you a procrastinator? There's no need to procrastinate. And I know what you're thinking. Randy, I'll subscribe when I get around to it. Well, here's your round to it right here round to it so go ahead and subscribe go ahead a wise decision